my Jimmy things like this, like, like I pulled it out of the wall. Okay, all I did was try to reach out and get this fucking thing and put this on it like this. See? Huh? And then I dropped my phone, and then God damn it went off the fucking camera. Okay? <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute. All I did was put the fucking thing on the charger. <clears throat> I dropped my phone, stopped my tape. Okay, this is a choker. It makes me feel like I can't breathe. Okay, where's my keys? I don't know. Oh, here they are. Left them in the bathroom. <clears throat> okay, so, let me put my sunglasses on. Okay, I'm just going to shut the door. I'm not going to lock it. Okay, so, that's just between you and me. Okay, okay so, we're going to walk now. Okay, so, let's see, I can barely see, I can barely breathe, like for the last few nights, I've been thinking I'm going to have to call the 911 or 988 or something, and have to call the ambulance out there and get me to the hospital because I can't fucking breathe, and then the dogs are going to say, oh no, you know, and I'm like, uh -huh. it feels like, you know, you're just hyperventilating, blow in it, you know, I'm going to be like, oh, I have my insurance take me all the way out to the emergency room just so they could tell me to breathe in a paper bag. <laughs> well, I don't really know what's going on, but, you know, I don't want people to start being mean again to me for no reason. So, anyway, so I'm going to start walking. I've been walking two, three times a day. This last weekend, I didn't get no walking done. I didn't get any walking done. I didn't get anything done. I didn't get a recovery either. I got new medicine, and I've taken my medicine just to make me too tired. So, I didn't get up like I normally do. I'm normally an early riser. An early bird. After he gave that medicine, I just started sleeping. I was just like, God damn, normally I would quit taking the medicine. And I would be like, fuck this. I'm not going to go around life being groggy and not being able to breathe and, you know, missing all my appointments. Everybody treat me like shit. Normally I would be like, screw this. I would just throw the medicine away, call the doctor, and say, I don't like the medicine. It makes me too tired, too groggy. Okay, well. What I end up having to do is take my blanket and my pillow and put it, take it into the living room. I sleep in there. For some reason, I couldn't sleep in my bedroom because I could not breathe for shit. Okay. And I, I, I had a big, bo uh, big uh, cup of um, great Kool-Aid. And... Uh, had it sitting there on the chair and then my vape of course which I'm thinking oh, it could be the vape you know I lost my fucking marble I'm just gonna have to quit smoking anyway you know might as well just throw the vape away <laughs> right nothing simple I'm throw away something that you can't be able to breathe it's just so simple right it's not fucking simple Okay, I meant to leave my vape at home and come on leave. So I don't smoke, I don't vape where I'm going or coming. So I get through my head, I'm going to quit. I'm not, you know, just trading the cigarettes for the vape. I really mean to quit. I'm going to have to get it through my head, you know, that I'm not going to have something to smoke. Even when I leave, when I come back, never. And you get it through my head that it just needs to disappear. All of it. Just don't take it at all. Forget about it completely. So, that's my next step. That's what I'm doing. <clears throat> just not giving myself the option of it. God, I can't breathe. Oh, shit. Man. 
I feel like, you know, it's my own jeans. My hay fever is bad this year. <sighs> I just really can't sleep. I want to take the one quick, take this medicine. Quick, take this one quick, baby. I'm just like, God damn, it feels like I'm dying. You know? I can't see fucking nothing. It's like can't fucking breathe. Okay, so here's the library. <laughs> okay. And, well, this is the back end of it. This is where the city hall was. <laughs> and this is, um, um, what is it? Partner, partner, uh, what does it say? Uh, it's, uh, partnership and parenting. Partnership and parenting. It's a little daycare on oh, that cute. And the police station is back in there. Okay. Nice little bell. <laughs> Thank you. And then, uh, the water. The city hall is back in here. And, um, so, and then this is the New Newman Community Center city, city offices. Let's look up here and see when's the next city council meeting. I'm thinking about going. Oh, okay. We've got November's is on the 13th. Oh, I'm going to have to tie my shoe. I just don't tie my shoe. Yes, dang. <laughs> see, the power around me is freaking crazy. It wants to untie me and so, uh, not me. Take me apart. Coming undone. Okay, so Monday, November 13th. And then December is Monday, December 11th. Okay, so that's the rest of this year. Oh, my God. No, I'm going to have to tie my shoe. Okay. Okay. And so, all my shoelaces. <laughs> Alright, now I'm surprised that it didn't stop uh, recording. I'm surprised that it's always been there. I tried to drop my phone or something. Well, I scraped my phone. It's really bad. I don't know how I did it. I don't know. It's like I dropped it on the ground and I fucking stopped on it and it went like this a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been here keeping myself busy while I'm walking. This is the Newman Regional Library and it's closed up until oh, uh, today is Monday, so it's closed until 1 to 7. Second chance clothing. Oh, that's cute, isn't that cute? A men and women's clothes. Newman United Methodist Church on Broadway. Hmm. Every Friday, 3 to 5. Oh, that's great. That's great. Oh, and I finally got the book return change. From the red one to the blue one. Oh. <clears throat> okay. So, man alive. There's got to be a church somewhere around here on Broadway. Okay, so Broadway is up here. Um, so I don't know. <sighs> okay, so I always go this way. So I'm just doing a circle around the block, sort of. I mean, that's, uh, God bless it. This is Green Street. I don't know what street that is. This is straight after, let's see, uh, Hopkins. Okay, this is Hopkins Street. Hopkins and Green. I'm going down Green Street. Whew. Yeah. Had some kids over there at the library. <laughs> Sitting down, using the internet. <laughs> free Wi Fi, thank God. For free Wi Fi, thank God for the library. You know? If you were homeless, the library could get you through almost every day just because it has a bathroom it has um heat in the winter air condition in the summer has water has wi-fi you can get a hold of people they don't let you use the phone but you can use your own phone as long as you got your own phone you can use their wi-fi i can't tell you how much the library means to me 
the library has been like my home base everywhere I've gone because that's so important. It's more important than a church, you know, believe it or not. It is actually just as important, there we go, as a church is. Just is. It really is. Okay, so, well, look, Angel and Andrew and his mom are home today. That is, uh, this is what, um, shoot, King Street. They're uh, Mexicans and they've bought my, bought my, uh, stuff. And, uh, yeah, they bought some jewelry that I made. So, but, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to get this uh, new jewelry made for Christmas. I'm going to put amethyst and rose quartz and uh, just regular quartz and, you know, just all kinds of crystals, the little bitty ones, mostly amethyst because that's the protective stone for um, addicts and alcoholics and uh, it works it's just like having an angel spirit around you just like good vibes and it's calming you know so <clears throat> so that's what I'm doing for Christmas I should have done something more important for Halloween but shoot I did what I could, you know, for Halloween. Here we go. We're almost home. We're in around the block. And I'm breathing. Believe it or not, I'm breathing. So, we're almost there. We've got to go across Broadway Street. And couple houses over and we're there so yay and then tomorrow I might take you on a walk to the free food pantry or to and then one of these days I'm going to take you to the um, post office and let you meet Karen the postal clerk so anyhow so here we are back home and uh, I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna do another couple laps without you. <laughs> without you. So, here we go.